Hi guys, Mont26 here. Just had a little package delivered. So I thought all the cool kids do it. Let's do a quick little uh, unboxing video. Let you know what I think of what's just been delivered. Just quickly, before I get into it, uh, I don't know what you guys had as a first experience playing against players who use HPA. Um, mine wasn't great, getting lit up constantly. And I was always wondering, well, how, how the hell are they getting the range and the accuracy and the stopping power? Well, it's been about four or five years now since I've been into Airsoft in a big way. And uh, I thought it's about time to see what all the fuss is about. So let's take a look. This is the Tipman Tactical M4 Carbine HPA. It's a little package they've got on offer at the moment, which is retailing for four, six, five, something like that, ninety-nine. Part of the package, apart from the gun, is they supply with your air bottle and a remote line, saving you about a hundred pounds. So it's a cheaper alternative way. To get into the HPA scene. So, opening the box up, we've got your usual owner's manual in Espanol, in Francais, in English, very in depth, lots of exploded diagrams. And if you notice, air or CO2 supply. CO2. That's another little gimmick of this one. In the box, they also supply you with all these little gubbins. And what all that is, is literally a drop-in kit for CO2. So this thing can actually run on gas as a gas blowback gun, as well as HPA. Armourer's tool, Tipman logo, come in handy. 120 round magazine, strictly generic M4 magazine, nothing special. Uh, you can use pretty much any generic M4 magazine with this gun, apart from when you're going to run it as uh, CO2, in which case you need the CO2 magazines. So the CO2 bulb literally drops inside, uh, yeah, and away to go, nice and easy. The juicy bit, I suppose, is this, which is the M4 carbine. It has got flip up front and rear sights, and it has got an orange tip. Tipman being an American firm, that's part of their legislation. But thankfully, we are supplied with a black one. Will look a lot better. First impressions, the gun is solid, well built, it just looks like a generic M4 carbine to be honest with you. A um, little bit of wobble from the stock, so if I hold the stock, the actual gun itself, no wobble, uh, weighs in at about 2.9 kilos I think they say, which is as close to realistic as possible. Does have a top dead centre um, hop up. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. I'm five foot seven. Not really short, but not really tall. Fits in quite well, even in a CQB situation. But to be honest with you, if you're six foot plus, you may find that it might sit a little bit proud. I'm not too sure. Uh, but first impressions, well built gun. Uh, yeah, it's got all the markings, Tipman logos, all the warnings. So, long story short, I'm going to be using this over the next couple of months in skirmish and mill sim scenarios to see what all the fuss is with uh, HPA. So, yeah, hope you're all staying safe, and uh, as always, keep it pooing. Catch you soon, guys.